Hi, welcome to the Tricky Dame channel. Peace. Um, I am on Tybee Island and I am at my friend's house taking care of her dog. And my name is Joanne. If you haven't watched me before, thanks for checking in and seeing what it's all about. And it's Sunday. Um, for a lot of people, it's Super Bowl Sunday. Super Sunday. Um, I don't believe I'll be watching the U.S. sport called football today, but you never know because you have to always be open for anything and expect the unexpected and um, believe in unlimited possibilities. That is something that I am working on on a daily basis. Um, I am currently um, launching a really exciting um, fundraising um, campaign in the next day or so. I'm getting some real strong clarity about the direction of my work and I want to be able to share this with as many people as possible and um, also be able to, you know, enjoy my life financially abundantly as well. And I believe we are in the state of energy changing. I've said this before, um, money is a currency, it's an energy source and money is an important energy source. However, it is not my life energy source. My life energy source is magic fashion love. I call it magic fashion love. This renewable, sustainable energy source found within me. And when I use it, my life feels good and when I share it, wow. And therefore, if we can create financial abundance from nuclear energy or fuel energy or make-believe mortgage energy, then we should be able to create magic, passion, love, energy, financial abundance as well. And that's within all of us. And um, I'm excited to see the direction of um, my own spiritual business as well as other people that I know because we are feeling some amazing energy shifts right now. The flow, it's, um, we, are, we are riding this wave and we have... Um, the where for all to keep balance and there are a lot of ways to do this um, and I am doing this by reading cards and um, realigning and charging my chakras on a daily basis and these are things that I would also like to share with you if you need any re-energizing or a card reading um, and you can find out about all this stuff at my website trickydame.com or you can go to magicpassionlove.com and place an order. That's the money page, Magic Passion Love. It also is a page where you can see a lot of the other artists that I'm working with right now. And we are doing some really amazing things. So um, the purpose of this video is I'm gonna pull five cards. And this represents um, our current situation. So I believe these cards will speak to anybody who is listening and watching. And I hope it gives you some creative insight on your particular current situation. So I'm just gonna take a little moment. Mm, feels good. And these are the cards. It's a deck of 54 cards. And they are artist cards. Um, 17 different artists from around the world help create these and I am forever grateful that these are my first deck that I've been using. So the first card that I'm pulling is the current situation card and it is change. Change. Yep. That's what it's all about. Right now we are in a state of change and on the artist's, I don't know if you can't read this, but it says everything she touches changes everything we touch changes and we have to continue to um, believe and have faith that we can make changes in our lives and move forward in a positive and peaceful way so the second card that I draw in the five card spread is expectations and the expectation card is shame interesting interesting I have, in the last couple weeks, been definitely releasing a lot of shame that I have about my own current financial situation and past, and um, allowing it to stay open, allowing myself to stay open to receive, to, to shift that shame. 
And I think having um, it be pulled as my expectation card or the expectation card, it just, again, it is just a reminder that it still lingers and it's a human element that I might always have um, in my life because we have to remember that we're human. We are definitely spiritual beings, but we're living a human life and embracing that shame and being friends with that shame and recognizing the shame does not define me as a whole person. That is only one element of a feeling or an essence of me. And and as this artist, um, it's just, you know, oh, actually, if I can't see, if you want to see these cards, you can go to my website um, and you can click on the Flickr page where I've, they're all scanned in. And in the back there, there's a little um, potted plant and it's kind of dying. So I'm going to take that as a sign as to nurture some plant, nurture some growth, um, find something to grow, whether it's inside of me or outside of me. But when you nurture something to grow, it helps the shame diffuse itself. So the third card is our hidden influences. And hidden influence is stealth. Hmm, stealth. What a great picture. I love the masks. And that I'm going to take as a sign as to um, be strong. We have the strength within us. I have the courage and the strength. I am a warrior. You are a warrior. We have that element in us. We have even the feminine is a warrior and the masculine is a warrior. Combining the masculine and the feminine energies together is a warrior state. And when you add the feminine and the masculine essence together, you also have the life state. So you are a warrior in life. And that's our hidden influence. We always have that strength of our spirit self growing our human element forward. So then we have advice. And I'll be honest, I almost was going to switch it. I was like, no, no, no. I was going to pull the first seven cards of the deck after I cut them. And so let's be honor the cards. And the card that was drawn was silence. It's a man sitting under a huge flame of fire. And I know what this means for me. It means silence. I am in one of the most amazing, beautiful places right now. And I am a lot, I'm getting to experience winter in a whole new way right now. And giving me that time to be outside and to find silence within myself. And um, that's the, it's time to, to find silence within myself. I know this. Um, when I started my spiritual journey, I um, knew there are lots of layers that you have to take care of every day or you have to find ways to manage and balance and you can't do it all at once. You know, I've read my first, I remember reading a book thinking, oh, I'll read this book and poof, prosperity, prosperity, prosperity. Well, no, it's more than that than just reading one book. It's a lifetime commitment to honoring all elements of your body. And so I've taken in steps, you know, and, and doing the things that I can do easily and enjoyably first. And then as things get on, more strength comes in, I can do the more challenging things. And meditation has always been um, not a challenge, but I've always been working on ways to um, find ways to meditate. And there's lots of interesting ways. There's flow dreaming and um, Doreen Virtue does a lot of angel meditations and guided visualizations. and. I too have been working on my own personal ones, which is why I'm excited to start sharing them on my manifesting circles on Tuesday night. So you can go to my website and find out about those. And the outcome, and this is like the awesomest card to pull, faith. I am so, oh, I'm, I love these cards. I love them. I love them. And I would love to do a reading for you. And I do a five card reading like this for you over the phone. I record it and um, I send you a copy, a, a, a photograph of the cards that I do in the email with the recorded downloadable um, yada yada session and then you can also look at the cards while I'm reading it online because they're all scanned. And I have faith that um, I'm going to be able to help a lot of people 
and have great conversations with a lot of people um, because it's about faith. Faith in yourself. Faith in myself. Faith in magic, passion, love. So, hope you enjoyed the five card spread of change, of shame, of stealth, silence, and faith, 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 faith. Thank you so much for watching. Um, have a great day, and may your team always be the winner. But if you're not the winner, just remember there's always another day to win. If you're a winner one day and a winner the next day, you're still a winner. So just be a winner. Okay. Bye. It's not turned off yet. Okay. Now it's